Andrew Brown's deadly encounter with sheriff's deputies last week. The case igniting nationwide outrage, and there are increasing calls to see what really happened in Brown's final moments. Kathy Park is there. His family needs. Tonight, family members preparing to see Andrew Brown Jr.'s final moments after he was shot and killed by Pasquotank County Sheriff's deputies. The family is ready uh, to see this body, body cam footage, but uh, I'm hopeful that we can we can get to a resolution uh, so this video can be shown tomorrow at 1130. Um, but there is no guarantee? Nothing's guaranteed. This comes after days of growing pressure on the sheriff to release a video. He said he'll put in a formal request Monday. Because we want transparency, we want the body camera footage made public. Under North Carolina law, the uh, body camera film video uh, can only be released with the approval of a superior court judge. So how soon could the judge okay the release of the footage? Could it be in a matter of hours? Could it be days? It could be in a matter of hours. Uh, it's up to the uh, judge. Four days ago, deputies were attempting to serve Brown a search and arrest warrant on felony drug charges. Dispatch audio reveals some details on the deadly shooting. This is got one male, 40 years of age, no shot to the back. Searching for answers, grieving family members want accountability. Now I got to live every day, my newborn, without even getting a chance to meet him at all. And that's going to hurt me every day. I just want justice. Those calls growing louder each day until deputies share more details. Kathy, we understand seven deputies are now on administrative leave. Kate, that is right. The sheriff says they will be held accountable if they violated any laws. Meanwhile, an outside sheriff's office will be brought in to investigate the shooting as well. Kate? Kathy Park, thank you. Tonight we are.